My name is Nicholas Korku. Um, I've been playing with the CCNY soccer team for four years. I went to the Bronx High School of Science where I took three years of engineering classes, which basically introduced me to the field. Um, I also spent a lot of time with my cousin who lives in California. He works, uh, works at Google now so, um, and he does software engineering. So learning from him, I chose to delve into more software engineering, which led me to electrical engineering and then now computer engineering as a master's. I think these past four years playing for the Beavers has been like one of the best times of my life. Um, the people that I met on the team and, and at the faculty in the school, where it's like some of the best, nicest people that I know. And it was just so fun waking up at 5 a.m. to go to 6 a.m. practice and, and wanting to go being enthusiastic to see, see the boys play some footy in the morning. And yeah, I think my best memories would be going to like the non-conference games in like New Jersey, where we'd all get in the van and just 10, <laughs> 10 soccer players all just vibing now, listening to music, getting ready for the game, just having fun. Yeah, so I've been playing soccer since I was six. Um, my family moved to Middle Village and they had a park there, Juniper Valley Park, where I just spent most of my days of adolescence, like from age six to 18. Um, and yeah, all my friends play soccer. All my friends that I still have close daily to me right now are from soccer and I'm Polish, so just the entire culture there is soccer. So everywhere, everywhere I go, I'm always just talking about soccer, playing soccer. Honestly, I love coaching youth soccer. Um, I feel like now leaving college and having played my four years of college, my entire experience, my career as a, as a player can, can transition into something greater where instead of being a captain, inspiring the players around me, I get to take what I've learned, my experiences, and teach the next generation and try to teach them what I didn't know at that age, try to have them have fun because of all oh, I had fun in the, in the field. Yeah, so balancing um, athletics and academics really comes down to just knowing that I have, knowing when I have practices, when I have games and accounting for that. So it's always gonna be a tight schedule, press for time, going to games, playing the games, and then knowing when I have exams. So it's actually important that whenever I have the time, I have to focus on academics when I'm not doing my athletics. Um, for me, it's a huge honor to be named Scholar Athlete of the Year. Um, it feels good that after all these four years as being a Beaver for CCNY, although we weren't able to win a chip with me here, I can leave the school knowing that I have made some type of impact where I can be recognized for what I've done these past four years and be recognized that I am the Scholar Athlete of the Year. My best memories at the school will most definitely be just spending time with my classmates, um, whenever we're not in class, just going to the library, studying, but also just goofing around, have, having the time of our lives, knowing that we have our whole life in front of us and we're working towards that. So. It was just always good energy with everyone. And advice for younger students, I would say, honestly, as, as, as important as school is, I think college just comes and goes. Because I, I feel like high school is a lot longer than college, even though it's the same four years. So before you blink, it's over. So I would say just enjoy the time while it's, while it's there.